Hello boys and girls, Mr. Jimmy. Just wanted to come to you with a couple questions from the Unit 7 pretest. Do a little review and just a little modeling of questions that were on the pretest that we should be aware of and be focusing on when we take the the quiz this Thursday. So look at the first question. Ina is playing a game with a cube that is labeled win on four sides and lose on two sides. She expects to win two thirds of the time. She rolls the cube six times and records those results as shown. Win one, win. Win two, roll win. I'm sorry, roll one. Win, roll two, lose. Roll three, lose. Roll four, lose. Roll five, win. Roll six, win. Which statement best explains why the results of her experiment did not match her expectations? So let's go back because I'm not quite sure what her expectations were again because I've read so much I kind of forget. So Ina is playing a game that is labeled win on four sides and lose on two sides. So that means all together, if I do a little writing here, there are six sides. So she might, it must be a six-sided cube, I'm guessing maybe, because four wins on one, on one side and then two on the other. So four plus two gives me six. She expects to win two-thirds of the time because she has four out of six being a win, which can reduce, divide both by two. That gives me two-thirds. So that's why she's expecting to win two-thirds of the time. Now, if I go through here, I'm going to highlight the ones in green that she won. So that's a win. That's a win. And that's a win. And then she had losses three times. So actually, she only won 50% of the time, yet she was expecting to win two-thirds of the times, or that is 66% of the time. Now, it says, which statement best, keyword there, best, which statement best explains why the results of her experiment did not match her expectations? So, she could have had another person roll the cube half the time. Well, if I think about that, does it really matter who rolls the cube? Unless they're just holding the cube and putting it straight down, that's not considered a roll. So that should not matter. She really could not win two to the times. Well, yes, based on the math, that if we have four out of six sides, we reduce that. That should have she should have won two thirds of the time. So that's not right. She did not roll the cube enough times, or she did not roll the cube, or she rolled the cube too many times. Well, if she rolled fewer times, if she just rolled let's say three times, she actually lost 66 percent of the time. So that still wouldn't match it. If she rolled four times, then she's losing 75% of the time. So it probably has nothing to do with not rolling, and that has nothing to do with uh, rolling too many times. It'd have to be she did not roll it enough times because we want that larger sample size. We need a larger sample size to really get accurate results so that her theoretical would match her experimental. Okay, take a look at the next one. A single sided die is rolled. What is the probability that the outcome of the roll will be an even number? Okay, let me go back here. Highlight, underline some keywords here. Six-sided die, so that means it's just one, is rolled. What is the probability that the outcome of the roll will be an even number? So I have six sides. So if I have a six-sided die, that must mean one side is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. So there are six possible outcomes. So if I go my answer choices, Three out of seven. I can eliminate that because that means there's seven outcomes. Well, there's only th there's only six. Three out of six, two out of six, five out of five. Well, that's 100% of the time. There's no way I'm gonna, an even 100% of the time. And needless to say, there's only five outcomes and not six. So I'm down to choice B or C. It says, what's probably be an even number? So I'm going to go take my highlighter again. Let's see here. Is one even? No. Two even? Yes. Three even? No. Four even? Yes. Five even? No. Six even? Yes. Well, it looks to me that that is three out of six outcomes, three sixths, or I could say three to six, or I could also say three out of six, which gives me answer choice B. Okay, take a look at one more question. A glass jar contains six red, five green, eight blue, and three yellow marbles. If a single marble is chosen at random, from the jar, what is the probability of choosing a blue marble? Now let's take a look here. I have seven or six red, sorry, six red, five green, eight blue, and three yellow. I'm going to choose a single marble at random from the jar. What's the probability 
of that being a blue marble? Well, first, let's think about how many outcomes there are possible. Now, you might want to say that there's four outcomes, red, green, blue, or yellow. But actually, these are outcomes are not, this is not a, this is not a fair game because not each marble has the same number. So I'm going to add all these together. So I have 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3. So 6 red marbles in the jar plus 5 green plus 8 blue plus 3 yellow. That means altogether there are how many possible outcomes? 6 and 5 is 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 plus 3 I believe is 22. So there are 22 possible outcomes. But we're focusing in on the blue. And I notice that means there's an 8 out of 22 chance that it will be blue. If I go to my answer choices, I have 4 out of 11, 1 half, 2 21st, 8 thirteenths. Well, none of these match up with my answer. Um, hmm. Well, let's double check my math because this is the closest to the answer. Let's see, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus, 9, or 11 plus 8 is 19. 20, 21, 22. Well, that's not even the number, number of outcomes, so it can't be at. 8 thirteenths. Oh, yeah, this is a fraction, so let's go back to the fraction. What can I do with all fractions? Well, I notice 8 an even number, 2 is an even number. If they're both even, that means I could divide both by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So just like we simplify fractions, even when you're doing probability, you want to simplify the fraction in the simplest terms. So I have 4 elevenths. Now I see that my answer is 4 elevenths. Hope this helps in your uh, quiz preparation. Take care. Bye.